Hey y'all, how you doing? I'm good. My name is Kathy Jo, and obviously this is my channel. Thank you for clicking on my video. If you did and it just didn't play in that, you know, that sound thing that happens. I don't know what that's about, but anyway, that's kind of cool. But I don't know, then you hear me talk and you run for your life. But anyway, today I'm participating in the What Would You Make Challenge. I'm the co-host. Oh my gosh. And you'll never guess who the host is to everybody that knows me and loves us. Anyway, so um, I hope y'all enjoy the video. It's spring, except the very last one. And I just couldn't help myself. And you all will see why. But they are gorgeous. So if you want to know what they are, stick around. And we'll talk a little bit more about the challenge later on. Thing left to say, let's get on with the video. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna start off with this one by four. It's 15 inches long, and I'm gonna go down through there and mark every two inches. And two out of get to 12 inches, and that last three we're gonna cut off. It's not really a one by four, it's one by three and a half. But anyway, I'm gonna mark them lines in all of them, and I'm gonna take them out to the garage, and I'm gonna cut them. I will cut them. Anyway, I just want to make sure that was right. And I'm going to sand them down real good because this, this board was nasty. And it was laying over there in one of my piles. And I'm going to give them all like a rough coat of that uh, cottage white. And then I'm going to draw some little flowers. I saw somebody do this. Um, well, not exactly like I'm doing. But I saw somebody uh, put some flowers on. And I thought that is adorable. And I, but they were, I was like. Man, you can make really big ones and set them out in your yard. Remember how we used to cut? See, that's the typical tulip. But remember how we used to cut the, out the little wooden tulips and stuff, and they was in everybody's yard? I used to make those and sell them. I was one of those people. Anyway, I'm going to paint all the stems um, with that moss chalk paint by Waverly. And I'm just going to paint them all different colors. I think that is petunia purple. <laughs> sure <laughs> maybe i'm maybe i'm 100 percent wrong it's apple barrel paint let me see what it is it's purple pansy anyway and then i'm gonna take that um it's apple barrel paint i think i said that that lavender by waverly and i'm gonna just like go around it and like highlight it and i do that with all of my little flowers and i try to paint them all and the little stems a little bit different and then um that pink one i totally redo because i i didn't like it i did redid that blue one also, and I like it less than I did when I started. But anyway, if you go around, this is so easy to do. Um, I take that lighter pink on that darker pink, and I paint it more how I want it. And then I went entirely too thick, so I just take the darker pink and thin out on my little lighter pink lines. Yeah. And y'all, these are, look what you can do with them. Set them around a candle. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. I love it. And you can just style them a ton of different ways. And um, I think this is an easy one. And I know y'all can do it. Even if you have to print some little flowers out on a printer and, you know, get some carbon paper and trace them out there. But look, just the different ways you can style them and set them around, or you can put them on a tiered tray. Today is the What Would You Make Challenge. The host is Connie's Wood Shop and DIYs, and Rustic and Lace DIYs, my best friend Brenda, and me, the co-host. I'm going to have the playlist in my description box below. Make sure you go check everybody out. There's a lot of talented people in this playlist, and y'all won't know unless you try. Okay. Right here, I took that three-inch piece that was left over, so now it's a three by three and a half. And I just take moss chalk paint by Waverly and just make squiggly lines, and then I take and put little tiny lines going off to the side, some thicker, some thinner. No big deal, y'all. It's so easy. I'm just like, blurp, 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 just slapping paint down there. And then I'm going to take my petunia purple, pansy purple, whatever, by apple butter, just take that um, embossing tool and make little tiny dots to make it look like lavender. And then I take some pink and do the same thing. And I just, just using the embossing tool, just over and over, different paint, stepping in it. And then, look, I paint a big, like, like I don't know, that, like windmill uh, blades and just blobs. And then I take brown and put little dots in between all of them. And that's easy. Look. So cute, so tiny. I accidentally ordered those little teeny tiny letters from Amazon. and But look, oh my goodness. If that's not the cutest thing, y'all can make that large. Set it around. You can put it with your tulips. 
put it again on tier tray, just a shelf setter. I'm just going to set it on the shelf. I like having little things like that set around. Okay, y'all, right here. Miss Susie from Church Morton, she gave me those boots. They came from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to paint them with that dusk blue by Waverly. Love that color, y'all. And I'm going to take that. Y'all remember when we did the thing with the K-Cups? I know, it's still the same mess. But um, back at Christmas time, well, I called my daddy and I said, um, could you save me your K-Cups because we won't drink coffee in this house? And he said, sure. Well, he thought I meant his little creamer cups. So he saved them, bless his heart, and washed them all for me. Thank you, Daddy. Anyway, but I was like, well, what can I do with these? Now I know. So, very convenient. Anyway, that salmon coral, you guys, it's true. Those I've already used like four of them. I'm like, dude, see, don't have to throw it away. You can reuse it. Anyway, well, you eventually have to throw it away. Um, I give that two coat to that dusk. And then I paint all the leaves and up top there in moss chalk paint by Waverly. And then that paint I mixed up, that pink, I'm just going to make my pokey dots on there. And then I'm going to take a Sharpie and go around the edge. And then I'm going to take that lighter pink, that blush pink, um, apple barrel, no, folk art. And I'm going to put just some little tiny highlights in my circles. Brenda said, don't make egg yolks. <laughs> like when she did hers. Oh, goodness, she's silly. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Then I'm just going to take some leaves and put them down here. And I'm going to take some more of them beautiful mums I got from the Dollar Tree. Man, I wish I could find more of them. But that don't mean I want y'all to get me any. But anyway, I'm going to take the cream and the blue and the pink. And I'm just going to do cream, blue, pink all the way around the outside. But first, I add these leaves. Look, I've had these that greenery pick in my stash for 18 years, I think. And um, because it looked like it had blue in it, I thought, oh, now's the time to use them. And I just want to, like... I wanted green. I want to see green. But when your flowers are being wonky, just take your heat tool and you can, like, yeah. And it will straighten them up and make them quit being so crazy. But be careful because you can burn them. Ask me how I know. Anyway, and then, yeah. And then I take those cute little daisies. I only found one pick of those. And I put them in between the pink and white um, mums. Yeah. And then I'm going to take just some pieces, piece together some floor foam, and I'm going to stick it down in between there, and I did add more green leaves all around in there, and I'm going to take that beautiful mum that I got back in the fall, because it's the same color as my other little mums, and I'm going to stick him down that floor foam, I'm going to hot glue him, and then stick him back down in there, because I don't want him to fall out, and then I just take the pink, pinkle, huh, the pink and blue ones, and go around that one, huh. and then I just take some other, those pretty little, um, something bush i don't know what it's called anyway I got, i'm gonna take two large paint sticks and i got from home depot and then i'm gonna take 20 of the small paint stir sticks and i just took them out and cut the handle off of them and i'm gonna paint them five in cashew five in dusk five in that pink and five in celery yeah mm. and i'm gonna take that wood tint i love that wood tint you guys it's nothing like the antique wax it dries so fast, and I like the color. I like the really darkness of it. But you don't have that waxiness. You can still hot glue on it, and it's just, I just like it better, y'all. And I still like antique wax, but I love that stuff. That That is my stuff. I've been using that for about two years now, and it's a go-to. go, go -to. I just I have to have it. <laughs> anyway, you see I'm staggering them, uh, and I take Aileen's Tacky Glue and wood glue hot glue, but look what I did, y'all. I made sure they was even one way, but that one board was crooked as a dog's hind leg, and I just kept on going. I was like, don't do this. I was talking to y'all the whole time. Y'all can hear me, but you can't hear me. But you can hear me now. Anyway, I take a piece of that nautical rope, and um, I'm going to glue down. Yeah. <clears throat> but what I did was take jute twine and wrap it around the end of that because you can't make a knot in that big old stuff and make it hang flat against your wall. And I wanted something that the staple couldn't slide out of. So, anyway, um, this string, look, it it was like a boomerang. It kept coming back. I got some mine through it clear across the room. Anyway, and then I give them all a staple. Yep. Well, anyway, I thought I did. Anyway, and I take Aileen's tacky glue and that hot glue, wood glue, again, and I'm going to glue my boots on. That's so cute. I should put music in there. 
anyway, I, I was asked to show how I did a stencil. Listen, something's wrong with my software. Two times this thing froze up on me. That's as fast as I can get it to go. But when you do a stencil, you pick out your lettering or your image or whatever it may be. Um, you leave everything else on. And like at the middle of your O's and A's and R's, see that APR, how you leave the center in there? You got to do that. Otherwise, it's just going to look like a, it'll look silly and you're going to have to paint it, paint it in. But yeah, just make sure you take out all your lettering and all of that jazz and leave the outside and everything on it. I I'll ho hopefully be able to do it better at a later date, but it just wasn't working for me this time. Anyway, and when I'm done, I do still make sure I burnish it down because I want everything like the sin. Okay, you put your contact paper on. I must have, I don't know, deleted that. And you pull it back and still again, leaving everything except your image. And then I just lay it down and I burnish it down real well. And then I'm just going to take a stencil brush. And I usually like to pull mine off when it's wet so your paint doesn't stick. But I did have a little bit of bleeding spots that I did touch up only because the, these sticks were so uneven and some of, some of them, Hooler. some of them was thicker than the others. And here they are, y'all. Look how cute this is. April showers bring May flowers. And what do May flowers bring? Pilgrims. <laughs> anyway, so I just got another block of wood here, y'all. And, um, it was, oh, it was from where I cut that little girl gnome, gnome's head off. Anyway, I just refreshed the paint. And then I was going to take this beautiful, I love this, um, rubble and transfer from Dollar Tree. And I wanted the bicycle. And it was going to be cute. It really was. But I had a mishap. So, see where I cut off my rose? There was roses on stems up above. And I was like, I could just add that rose. You know what I mean? No. Nope. Anyway, so when I cut it out, I wasn't thinking, and I left the leaves on there. And the leaves are big. And then I let the post office, like, stamp on there, too, when I just wanted the flower. And when I cut it out like that, I was going to continue cutting, and then I laid it down. Oh, my goodness. And then it really went down, and I could not get it up. It was too late, and I thought, well, maybe it'll be okay. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It covered all my little words and all that stuff like that. And I thought, can I scrape it off? No, that doesn't work. I thought, can I sand it off? Mm-mm, that don't work either. I thought, well, I'll paint over it. No, you can still see it. I'll paint over it with a darker paint. Uh-uh, you can still see it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. These transfers are good, you guys. So, what I did was that messy coat like that. And I took this little transfer I got from Amazon and it's so cute. And I think it's in my description box. I'm pretty sure it is. I got two packs of them for $11, you guys. They had little birds. Remember when I made my swing? Yeah, it came in that. With the birds I put on it. Anyway, I rubbed and rubbed. And I pull up from the bottom real slow. Because it's got all those little details and those flowers. And I want to make sure that I got it all. Then I burnish it. And then, I think, Christine Carter sent me these. Um, from Dollar Tree at Thanksgiving... Uh, in fall, those little blessed um, rub on transfers. And then I did a double loop bow. I put the blessed word on there, obviously. Did a double loop bow with you. Look how cute that is. Oh, my gosh. For a shelf setter or a tiered tray or anything like that. I just love that one. You know, when I go to Home Depot, I like to look at their, like, um, on sale, like, wood or stuff. They're just, they don't care. I got to show you my messy room. Oh. But, um, I pick these up whenever I see them. And, actually, I, I bought them anyway. I have them here. But, let's see. Anyway. I yeah, see? And, I know. And, the reason I got these, you guys won't believe, but I got these for a quarter a piece. <laughs> They're not that much anyway. They used to be, like, a dollar, I don't know, 14, 28, something like that. I don't know how much they are now. I don't think they're more than $3. But the reason I got these so cheap is because, see, that one's busted right there. And see, it's got that crack in here. But, you know, it's not, it's it's rough. But, and this one, this is warped. Look at that. It's crooked as a dog's hind leg. I mean, you can't even watch. Whoop, it's like. <laughs> anyway, so I could straighten them up. It'd take a long time. But here's just some that. I have, and here's what I'm about to do. 
Also, um, that house I made with that bunny rabbit stamp on it and stuff, and I told you it was made out of one of our daughter's drawer or dressers. We, uh, I keep, I kept inside the dressers too. This is like, you know, and that divot on that house that I cut out would have went like that would have slid in it. So I have three of these left. They're wood, but I kept them for a good reason, and I'm glad I did. So I'm gonna be using two of them, and. This is where I, lo I love doing the stuff. Anyway, so, well, that just fell on me. So, right here, I got these canvases here. And I'm going to, I'm going to leave about, I don't know, about half an inch right there. And I'm just going to lay this down here. This is, this is called the easy way because I cannot, um, I'm not good with math at all. So, when it comes to measurements, my brain does not, don't, it don't function that way. It, it's, I just don't. Yeah, I'm special. Anyway, and I'm going to do it like, I'm going to put this right on the edge. Right on the edge. And I know how much I'm going to need. And then I'm going to mark this here. Or put that there. And then I got these ones I'd already cut because um, I was making a ladder. But I decided to make it out of tomato steaks from... Dollar General, so I feel like I'm going to, I'm, I'm a tongue, I'm a tongue. Anyway, um, so I thought that everybody could get those. So, anyway, um, all right, so here's what I need. I know y'all's like, what are you doing? But just, just hang with me here. Just stay with me. And so, I'm just going to mark. He's going to have to go here, and then, oops, and this is going to go about to here. Hey, I build, I built a lot of stuff with these silly, uh, and then there. And that's where I'm going to have to cut it. Now, I'm going to take this out to the table saw, and I'm going to cut it down through there and across through here. Okay? Wait a minute. Let me come back now. So, that line I made, let's do this first. I'm just going to lay this across through here. And... This one's probably warped, too. And, yeah, that... Well, I'm warped. Huh. Anyway. Does that look straight? Does that look straight? I don't know, y'all. We'll see when we get out there. I know, y'all. After all that talking, this is another place that my... My editing software decided to mess up, and... It's as fast as I can get it to go. <laughs> but anyway, I know. With the anyways, and I know. I'm just cutting it down there. And the reason I had him to film this is because I've gotten some comments about... You girls say I just run out and cut it. I truly do. Nobody does it for me. My husband would if I ask him. But I do it myself. I wouldn't lie. And um, I just wanted to put that out there, you guys. So, I cut it, and what I did was took that cut one, and I just traced out the other one and cut it that way. And then, I lay down my canvases here, and I'm just going to mark to see where I need to take those out. And I'm going to cut the ends at a 45-degree angle. And there I did. And so, um, I'm going to take wood glue and that wood glue hot glue, and I'm going to stick them together. Now, I had enough pieces to do the one frame, but I had to use that... Uh, pieces of the other two to make the other frame. I'm just saying you could do it for 50 cents. I got two boards and I was able, you know what I mean, to make one frame I love it and I can make a lot of other things out of those two. So just don't negate them. Just, you know, if you see them, get them if it's a good price. And so, yeah, I'm just right there again, more hot glue and more hot glue wood glue. Sorry, I didn't mean to put that much in there, but I did. And, oh, y'all could fast forward, you know, but I'm sorry. And then I stapled all the corners, like, three times. <laughs> and then right here, it started working again. So, when I measured it, um, it ended up being, like, nine and a fourth and nine and a fourth. So, I only use wood glue, like, to stick it down in there. But then I do take that wood glue, hot glue, and I just, like, tack it for the time being. <clears throat> that one I accidentally cut a little bit too short, but it was like 11.30 last night, and I was exhausted, and I'm like, I don't even care. So, I did throw three staples in in them, yeah, and there we go. There's our frames. Oh, 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 and then I stained them with that uh, home decor, folk art wood tint. It's walnut, and um, it's just so pretty. 
It's so dark. You guys, I'm in love with these. But, and then I painted my, um, my back that I showed you that, that went inside that drawer. And I just traced out there where I needed to lay my canvases. And I'm going to take Aileen's Tacky Glue and rub it in with my finger because I don't want any bumps underneath it. And you guys, oh my goodness. Look at these canvases. <gasps> Rose Turner sent those to me, and I was like, oh, my gosh. I was just like, I cannot. Oh, no. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do, and I was going to be in this What Would You Make challenge. And, you guys, those frames are easier to make than you realize. And you can, if you do have the pieces, you can use Dollar Tree signs, and you can make those frames with your uh, miter box. Absolutely. And I did every bit of that, yeah, those two yesterday, in two hours. And I think that's pretty good. And I just absolutely love them. But I'm just going to staple my backs on. And here they are, you guys. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to hang them in my um, bathroom and show you guys. And I just was wore out. But I am going to get a picture of my bathroom. I need to get everything hung up and stuff. And <sighs> thank you so much, Rose. What do you all think? Oh, my gosh. Do you love them as much as I do? Oh, you can put any picture in there you wanted. It doesn't have to be Highland Cow, you guys. Anything. Um, you can print off something on the computer and make beautiful pictures. Rub on transfers. Uh, something with your Cricut. It doesn't matter. Anything. But calendar pieces. Yeah. Magazine pictures, you guys. The possibilities are truly endless. But I love y'all, and I just appreciate y'all so, so very much. And thank you for being here. And if you're new, hi! And if you're one of my um, cat birds, thank you. I love you guys. From the bottom, I'm a big old whore. And I mean it. Mwah. Okay, you guys. I know I look like a cockatoo. But Miss Rose Turner, you I think you heard me say my video, which I was disappointed in my own video. So if y'all's disappointed, I feel you. I feel you. I just, I couldn't get in my groove. But this video is my element, I believe. So, I know, and I need to get my nails done. I'm like, look, two years. My real nails, I just have acrylic put over them. And whew, I bent that one back. Oh, it rips off my nail off. Not your typical, when the nails come off, it, it was bad. It, I digress. Okay, so, y'all want to see. So, you already saw my little napkins. I think these are adorable. I love them. Look at that. Uh, I know y'all saw them, but still, I'm going to show you anyway. Thank you. And this this ribbon, this is so funny to me. Um, I went to get, I know y'all don't care. Some of y'all don't care, but some of y'all do. So, the ones, to the ones that care. Anyway, so, um, I went to Walmart, and in the fall, they had this ribbon, and I love this ribbon. And they only had one left, and I'm like, oh, no. So I use it so sparingly, and I'd like to use it more often, but I don't because I'm always like, I'm going to run out. I know y'all do that too, something you love. Look, she got it. I know y'all's like, really that? But yes, really this. Behind any bow, this steps up that bow like, bam! It's, I love this. I, I just don't know why. I just do. But and look at this. It says, um, fresh, local, it says vegetables. I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree. Look. Yeah, I don't want to open it yet. From farm to table, it's got a little beehive on it, too. Y'all, it's got, it's so cute. I love that orange for spring and then the gray. Of course, that's my jam. But this, I love this. Look, these come from Dollar General. Um, I have one, and now I have two. And it's cute. This one's cute, though, with the bicycle. And then this ribbon, which I love this. I have the orange and all that, the blue, all that. And then this burlap. Dirt, dirt, dirt. And I've used some of that already, but and then, of course, this trim. I use a ton of that, you guys. And then, look at these little mushrooms. <gasps> Those are so cute. Those come from the Dollar Tree. The only ones that I found were ugly. Well, they're not as cute as this, but, but anyway. But this, look, I don't know. Rose. She, Rose, look how cute. I love, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for these. <laughs> yes, all my sunflowers are big honking ones, and these are just so cute. Look at that. Ugh. Anyway, but y'all. <laughs> 
Y'all. <laughs> oh, be still my heart. Oh, you ready? Look. Oh my goodness. <gasps> look at, oh, oh. I, I just like, look, I started gathering stuff up. And I went up, tell my husband, I said, honey, you've got to see this. He even, of course, thought it was cute. Who don't think they're cute? Everybody wants a pet Highland cat. I do. I, that and pygmy goats. But he won't let me have one. But we do live in a subdivision. But I hate it. I need to get back to the country, y'all. But these, oh my gosh. I'm telling you what. And these these are a staple in my room now. And Rose is just keeping me in them. I mean, I got some anonymously one time. I don't know, that was weird. And then, and nobody ever fessed up to it. And then, um, Rose sent me some. And then the uh, Ugly Truth gals, I got a bunch of them um, from them. And then um, Wanda sent me some. And then Rose sent me some more. You guys, I, I'm so blessed. You're all just amazing. I just, yeah, I just love y'all so much. Oh, anyway. And look at this. Look how thick that is. Y'all see that? I need to get an older one to show y'all. Well, I don't I don't have an older one, so never mind. I had the one with the frame. You know what I mean? But then side by side that's gonna But look. Aw. I don't where'd this come from? Is this the Dollar Tree? Look at that. That's nice. That's nice. Nice for a gift. And this is so cute. I love this. It's to rubble and transfer. It says collect moments, not things. I just love that. Uh, rubble and transfer. That did, and that that is true. That's true. Cause you know what, you can't take it with you. But look at this pretty sign. I love the shape of this. Look, look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's just pretty. If it wasn't for the stupid glitter. But look at the little bunny rabbit. Yeah. I love that. And then this. I've never seen these at my Dollar Trees. I don't know if y'all... Look at that. You know what I could have done with that? Y'all. Seriously. Dude. This dude would have been decked out. But then look at this. I don't know where this came from. I don't know if this is Dollar Tree or not. Look. Can you believe that? That's crazy. I love that. I don't know. And then this pretty ribbon. And ri listen, I'll show you in a minute. And then this. This was Dollar General. It's so pretty. Look at that. Put that in a wreath with some... Oh my gosh. But I'm probably going to tear it apart. You know, and then this. I think this is nice. Look at that. Love it, love it, loving it, feeling it, y'all. Yeah. And then this. This is going to be so cute for bee stuff. And if y'all don't like bee stuff, I'm sorry. I do. I don't do lemons. I do the bees, I think. And I'm allergic to them, but anyway. I don't like lemons either. I mean, I, to eat them. Well, I don't know. I like to squeak. Never mind. Anyway, look. I know. Look at that. Nice. And then this pretty napkin. Look at this. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? And then this is so cute. I want this for my room. I'm going to keep this down here in my room and put little things in it. Yes. Anyway. And this, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> and uh, this came from the Dollar Tree, you all. Look at it. Uh, <laughs> Hyper, please. <laughs> he will match my own, um, that cow I made with that cock. Hey, he's hanging in my kitchen. <laughs> I love him. I did fix some of the patches on him, but uh, anyway, I love that. Mm-hmm, I do. And then this big old cotton board. Look at there. Nice. Nice. I love cutting boards. I don't know why. I just do. Rose, you shouldn't have done all this. And then this. And I don't know if y'all will see what I see. But, oh, 
I already know what I want to do with it. And it's so pretty. And I love eucalyptus. And some of y'all might be like, mm, no, but mm, yeah, I love it. Look at that. This, I think this came from the Dollar Tree, too. It's that um, stuff you stick on your walls. Look. Huh. Huh. Yeah. And then there's another cutting board, which is good because I was down to two. So, and I go through them fast. And I like to stack them one on top of the other to make them heavier, dutier. And I know that's not a word, dutier. But, anyway. <laughs> and then, another big hot. It's funny because I was making, I even cut out a pattern for something that I wanted to make and stuff. And I was like, I can't use it. It's my only one. And then, because Brenda sent me one. And then, then I opened the mail and I'm like, look. And you guys just. Mm, I can't wait to use all this stuff. Oh, all y'all stuff. Man, I've been busting it out. Oh, and Danny, I uh, used your thing there day to make my carrot wreath, and I forgot to say it was from you, and I'm so sorry. I never, ever want to do that to anybody. I, I always want to give y'all credit because it came from y'all, and um, it's appreciated. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I just, I love it. And I don't want to do this every time. I know y'all think I'm crazy. But it's so appreciated. And thank you, Rose. And, and I love you, and I love each and every one of y'all. And you don't have to buy me presents for my love, because I love you anyway. But You all, I'm still teary-eyed. I set these two aside because um, I'm going to be using... I cannot believe... I know Rose is probably like, what? Anyway, she bought this for my bathroom. But, Rose, if you don't mind... I think I may keep it down here in, in my craft room. <laughs> it says, God says you are beautiful. Ecclesiastes. Victorious. Um, I don't know what that says. That It's covered. Wait a minute. Let me open it here. I know. Y'all was like, just show us what it is. And um, then I want to read it. Okay. God says, you are beautiful, Ecclesiastes um, 3.11, victorious, Ecclesiastes 8.3, enough, 2 Corinthians 12.9, created, 2 Corinthians 12.9, strong, Philippians 4.13, and amazing, and um, Psalms is amazing, and then capable, Mark 10.27, and chosen. First Thessalonians. Sorry, and always love the Romans eight thirty eight. Look at that! Look at him. Listen, I love the Lord, and if any of y'all would like to get to know him, email me, and um, I'll introduce you to him. But anyway, um, you guys, these. I can't, I'm going to have to lay them out and show them to you because I nearly had a stroke right here <laughs> when I opened this, you all. Yeah. So, I'm going to show you real quick. Look. Oh, my gosh. They're canvases. They're canvases. Look, you could take the Dollar Tree um, canvas and take the wood off of them, and there you go. But, of course, I'm not going to do that. I don't think. I'm a bit, you know, extra. Look. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then, ah, uh, look. These are so cute. So, let me see if I could tip my camera down here and let y'all see them. See? I don't know if I could spread them out enough and y'all see them. But, isn't that amazing, y'all? <laughs> He's like, dude, really? <laughs> oh, goodness, you guys. You all, I'm still teary-eyed. I set these two aside because um, I'm going to be using... I cannot believe... I know Rose is probably like, what? Anyway, 
she bought this for my bathroom. But, Rose, if you don't mind, I think I may keep it down here in, in my craft room. <laughs> it says, God says you are beautiful. Ecclesiastes. Victorious. Um, I don't know what that says. That it's covered. Wait a minute. Let me open it here. I know y'all was like, just show us what it is, and um, but I want to read it. Okay. God says you're beautiful. Ecclesiastes um three eleven. Victorious. Ecclesiastes eight three. Enough. Second Corinthians twelve nine. Created. Second Corinthians twelve nine. Strong. Philippians four thirteen. And amazing. And, um, Psalms is amazing. And then Capable, Mark 10, 27, and Chosen. First, this one. I'm sorry. And always love the Romans 8, 38. Look at that. Look at him. Listen, I love the Lord. And if any of y'all would like to get to know him, email me and um, I'll introduce you to him. But anyway, um, you guys, these. Oh my God. I can't, I'm going to have to lay them out and show them to you because I nearly had a stroke right here. <laughs> When I open this, you all, yeah. So, I'm going to show you real quick. Look. Oh, my gosh. They're canvases. They're canvases. Look, you could take the Dollar Tree um, canvas and take the wood off of them. And there you go. But, of course, I'm not going to do that. I don't think. I'm a bit, you know, extra. Look. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and then, uh look these are so cute so let me see if i could tip my camera down here and let y'all see them see i don't know if i could spread them out enough and y'all see them but isn't that amazing y'all <laughs> he's like dude really <laughs> oh goodness you guys one more thing. I know because I keep forgetting. But look. Funyuns. <laughs> I love Funyuns. And look. This was in the box from Rose also. Yeah, look at that. That's massive. I've never seen one that big. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much, Rose. And I hope you like the picture. I hope you like what yeah, I did with them. So, anyway. Bye. Happy later.